Hey everyone, today I want to talk about something I hear from people all the time with regards to insomnia, which is I've tried everything. So, I mean, I would say 90% of the time when I talk to um, clients or, 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 you know, potential clients that come to me for insomnia and I get their history, they, um, they tell me that they've tried everything and they go through a whole list of things that they've tried. And um, usually what this includes is things that don't work. So what I wanted to um, talk about today is why this happens, why this is so prevalent where people, you know, they are trying a lot of different things, but they're, they still have the insomnia that's not going away. They're putting in lots of effort um, and they kind of get to the point where they're sort of exhausted on what they can do because they're doing everything that they've been told to do and yet they still have insomnia. And then many times what they do is conclude that um, I can't overcome this. There's something wrong with me. Or uh, my insomnia is different. That This may work for some people, but it doesn't work for me. And they get very hopeless and frustrated and discouraged. And um, it's, you know, not a good place to be. So I thought this could be a really important thing for me to talk about just, you know, to, you know, maybe ease your mind if this is something that, if you're at this place where you feel like you've tried everything and yet you still have the insomnia, um, you know, to give you some um, hope and encouragement uh, of why this tends to happen. So first of all, when I when people tell me that, my first question is, well, tell me what you've tried. And usually I would say 95 percent of the time what they've tried is things that simply don't work. They're just the wrong things to try. You know, and these are things I've talked about quite a bit on, uh, on, on, you know, on these videos is number one, sleep, sleep hygiene and sleep hygiene is, um, you know, things either changing your, your sleep environment, like making your room darker, making it quieter, your temperature, things like that, or changing certain things about your lifestyle. Um, like you're exercising, you're getting sunlight exposure, you're getting rid of alcohol and, um, you know, caffeine, you know, you're doing all these kinds of things um, in the hopes that those external things are going to improve the sleep. And then, of course, they don't and you still have the problem. OK, but you've tried and people will really commit and they'll try all kinds of of these sleep hygiene things and they'll completely give up um, uh, coffee, even though they love it. They'll give up alcohol you know, they'll start exercising, they'll get very, you know, rigid about, you know, a lot of things around the sleep, and yet they still have insomnia. And so, you know, they, again, they're left to that place where they feel like they've tried everything. Um, the other thing that people will try is medication, because, um, you know, as I've talked about a, a lot here, that if you go to a doctor, um, either your, you know, like your regular, you know, family doctor, or you go to a psychiatrist who's also an MD um, and you say, I have I have insomnia or having trouble sleeping, you know, quite often they're going to prescribe a medication. And um, and because they think that that's the solution to the sleep problem is just to kind of, you know, sedate you and that that will get you past it. And so you start taking different medications and you go down that path. OK, and then, you know. I've, you know, talked to many people where they've tried a lot of different medications um, because there's a lot of different medications that that will sedate you and, and create that sedative effect. Um, and they keep jumping from medication to medication or they that the, the dosage, you know, keeps getting adjusted up or down um, or they're trying over the counter medications or things like that. And then also, you know, even drugs, recreational drugs, marijuana, gummies, CBD, all these kinds of things as well. OK. And, you know, they get some I mean, with all of these things, people will get like some improvement over a short period or it's a little better or um, but it, it doesn't. The insomnia is still there, you know, even though they're doing all these things, the insomnia is still there. OK. And then other things that they might try are supplements, you know, um, uh, you know, valerian root, melatonin, uh, magnesium. I mean, there's a whole list of um, of supplements that people will take for sleep. Um, and of course, th those don't work. And then um, they'll go get a sleep study, uh, which is where you go to a lab and they hook you up and, you know, to see like, why am I not sleeping? 
Um, and, you know, but the problem with the sleep study is it doesn't diagnose insomnia. You can't, uh, insomnia isn't diagnosed through a sleep study. It's diagnosed through, through symptoms um, uh, that indicate insomnia. Um, and, you know, sleep studies are good if you have sleep apnea. So it's good to rule that out if you're, you know, if, if you have symptoms of sleep apnea or other sleep disorders. But with insomnia, sleep study, um, you don't use it to diagnose insomnia. And then, you know, even if they think you have insomnia, you, you know, they're still going to probably refer you to a doctor who's going to prescribe you a medication or they're going to tell you to do sleep hygiene. And you're kind of back where you started. So, you know, people put a lot of effort into uh, all of these different things that I just mentioned. Meditation is another one. Well, if you just meditate, if you just relax, like, you know, then you'll sleep. Um, and, and, you know, that doesn't work. So, you know, you're trying all these things and you try them and you've put a lot of effort in and you still have the insomnia. I mean, maybe there's been some tiny, small improvement, but, you know, the insomnia is basically still there. And your sleep isn't, you know, back to a normal, healthy pattern. And you feel like there's nothing else for you to do. Okay, so that's where most of the people who come to me have been. Sometimes they haven't done all those things because they haven't had the insomnia long enough or they just weren't as engaged in trying to solve it uh, for whatever reason. But I would say a lot of the time people have gone through all these different things. Um, and then, but they're still, they're still dealing with it. Now, the last thing is occasionally, um, now I've talked about the, the, the actual gold standard treatment for insomnia, and I've gone through, you know, that in pretty good detail in terms of the steps, um, which is the process that my, my program is built on. And this is the gold standard. And sometimes I will get people who will say, well, I tried CBT and it didn't work. You know, or I tried sleep restriction and it didn't work. And now not only have they tried all the things that don't work, they believe that, um, you know, they believe that they tried the, the thing that is, you know, the gold standard or the thing that is supposed to be the best thing for insomnia. And yet they still have insomnia. So now they're even more hopeless because they're not even even like the gold standard treatment isn't working for them. So what I do at this point with someone is I, I dig into the, the CBTI, okay, the Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia to find out like what exactly did they do? Because people will say, well, I tried it and it didn't work. But when I dig into it, I, I pretty much always see the issue, which is that number one, um, it wasn't implemented correctly. So for example, They'll say, well, I tried, uh, I just tried, I tried sleep restriction and I tried it for a month and it, yeah, it worked a little bit for a while, but then it, you know, it's still, then it didn't work. Okay. So already I see an issue. Number one is all they did was try sleep restriction and they didn't do the full treatment, which is multifaceted. And, um, there's like four key components to it and you can't just do one of those components. Um, I talk about this in detail in other videos, so I want, I'm not going to go into that. But, um, but this is one, one problem with why it doesn't work for them is they're not really doing the whole process. They're just doing one piece of it. So that's one thing. They're just trying the sleep restriction. The second thing is they are usually doing it wrong. They're doing only one thing, but they're doing the one thing wrong. Now, why are they doing it wrong? Well, either because they went to a provider and the provider told them this is the way you should do it. And many times the provider isn't experienced and doesn't exactly know what they're doing. And they just sort of give them this generic thing of, OK, this is how you're going to do sleep restriction. Go and do it and keep doing it until the insomnia is gone. So they're getting really poor direction on what they need to do. The other thing that could happen is they're trying to put themselves through the treatment. And so they read online somewhere you should do sleep restriction because you can find that. And they say, oh, well, I should do sleep restriction because that's that's the thing that's supposed to work. So they try to do it on their own. Same same result. OK, so that's one big mistake is the person is not implementing either all of the components of the treatment because there's several components that have to be done in a certain sequence with a certain timing 
And um, also it has to be personalized and tailored to their sleep. That's another thing that's not done. The other problem that happens is they don't do it for long enough. I mean, you know, four weeks. When, if someone says to me, well, I, I tried the CBTI and I did it for four weeks or I tried it even for seven weeks and, you know, and it ultimately didn't work. Then I know that the problem there is not only could the problem be the first things that I said, but that they didn't stick with it long enough. Let's say they actually were implementing it correctly um, for, for, you know, the time that they were doing it. They were doing it. They were making progress. And then all of a sudden... They got to, you know, the seven week mark and they concluded, oh, well, I had a, I had some poor nights of sleep this week. Therefore, this isn't working. And then they give up. OK, so the problem there is they didn't maintain it long enough to fully get the result and to break the insomnia pattern and reestablish a normal, healthy pattern of sleep. They gave up before they got to that point because their expectation, their belief, their assumption was at this point, I should be over it and I shouldn't be having poor nights of sleep. So what we've got in the way there is the expectation or the assumption either because someone told them that or they read that somewhere or they just made it up in their head that at this point I should be over this. OK, so that's that's a mindset issue of expectations. So what I find almost universally when someone says they've tried CBTI or they've gone through this process either on their own or with someone else is either it's been implemented incorrectly or it's missing components or even if it w does seem to be implemented correctly which is pretty rare I find they didn't stick with it long enough it wasn't personalized to them and they didn't keep adjusting it every single week the skills based on how their sleep was progressing and, you know, the changes that are happening as uh, as that sleep progresses in terms of the patterns in their sleep. And all of these things have to be in place all the way through and you have to stick with it long enough for it to work. When you do that, in my experience, it works extremely well for most everyone because it goes to the core of what causes the problem to begin with which is the poor sleep behaviors and the negative sleep thoughts. Those are the key things that create insomnia and maintain it. And we're going in and we're reversing that and then we're replacing it with things that actually lead to uh, just elicit a normal, healthy pattern of sleep. So I wanted to make this video because a lot of people get very frustrated or hopeless or depressed um, because they are putting an effort to solve this problem. They are following the guidance they're getting from other YouTube videos or what they're reading online in blogs or even on, you know, uh, you know, medical websites like WebMD or because a provider is telling them this is what they need to do and they're following everything, but they're not getting the result. They're not getting past the insomnia. And um, I know that when I hear someone saying that I've tried everything, that um, either they've tried everything that doesn't work or they've, they've tried everything, like including CBTI, including the process that, that does work, but they didn't try it or implement it correctly or stick with it long enough um, for it to get the result. And then they gave up too soon. You know, a good, a good analogy here is um, diet. I mean, how many, you know, so let's say someone's overweight and they'll go through diet after diet. They'll do Weight Watchers. They'll do Slim Fast. They'll try this diet and that. They go through diet after diet and it keeps failing. And they're wondering what's going on here. Do I just not have the ability to lose weight? And it's that's rarely, if ever, the case, you know unless there's a rare case where someone has some kind of disorder that causes the weight gain or they're taking a medication that causes it. Um, you know, everyone has the ability just because it's the way the body works to lose the weight if they're following the right process. Same thing with if you have insomnia, you don't lose your ability to sleep. It's just things are getting in the way of that and we need to get you out of the way. But it has to be followed with the right process. And so with diet, people jump in the, and they just get frustrated and conclude, well, maybe I'm just someone who just can't lose weight or whatever it is. And it's usually because either 
Well, it's because diets, the whole diet mentality doesn't work. That whole approach to eating doesn't work. So it doesn't matter how quote unquote good the diet is. Um, ultimately, it's not going to be sustainable because of the way people approach that. So they need, they need not only like a good way to eat, but they need a good way to um, approach and think about eating and diet and nutrition that they can sustain for the rest of their life. And when they find those things, the weight comes off, they can keep it off and, um, you know, they can get to where they want to in terms of their health. So it's the same thing with sleep. You just need to have the method that actually solves the problem that's, that's, that is actually effective, but you need to follow it correctly and you need to be able to do it with the right frame of mind so you can handle the challenges along the way and you can, you can stick with it long enough to get the result. And that, and then if you do that, you, you will, you can get past insomnia. You know, I believe anyone can, if they follow that, um, if they follow that process and they stick with it and they're committed to it, they can get to that place. Um, even if you feel like you've tried everything. All right. So, uh, I hope you found this video helpful today. If this is something that you, you, you hear yourself saying or thinking, or you, you feel like you're kind of, you tried everything. Um, I hope some of this resonates with you. Um, if you found it helpful, just press the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel and, um, I will see you next time.